वेलकम बैक सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ कम्प्लीट अटेंडेंस वेब एप्लीकेशन डैशबोर्ड विच इज क्रिएटेड बाई यूजिंग दी गूगल शीट एज ए डेटा बेस विद टू यूजर रोल्स द एडमिन एंड द एम्प्लॉय हेयर एम्प्लॉय वी विल कंसिडर एज ए यूजर एंड वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी फीचर्स बिफोर कंटिन्यू टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ दिस वेब एप्लीकेशन वर्क आई विल टेल यू वी हैव एडिड द मैनेज लॉन सेक्शन द डिटेक्शन मॉड्यूल द सैलरी मॉड्यूल एंड द लीव रिक्वेस्ट फीचर्स सो लेट मी शो यू द मेन एंड हाईलाइटेड फीचर ऑफ दिस वेब एप्लीकेशन सो आई यू कैन see here the device id yes we are going to register the device id of each employee let's take example this is one of our employee this is a uh, admin and you will uh, consume this is a employee and i just copied that particular id and paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this log click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here i am successfully signed up as a admin but you will consume this is a user and i just simply click on this clock in so when i click on this clock in it means i have marked the attendance for the clock in type uh, successfully so you can see in the main section the ip of that of my uh, current device will be saved here and also the location as well okay so this uh, will this feature will help you to track your employee will exactly mark the attendance from your firm or from an other places okay so this is one feature now what one more feature the main highlighted feature so this, this you can see this is a an other user but this desktop is registered with this account what you are what what are you trying to say that i trying to say that i just log in and this particular desktop from where i record the video is registered with this account yes we got that point now my friend calls me and ask me use my login details and mark my attendance okay bro i will mark your attendance i just enter their login details and click on this sign in but i will go to the errors this device is already registered with an other user only one user one employee can mark attendance from one device okay you understand this let's take example i am just uh, uh, login as a admin from here again the first user we will take it uh, admin and uh, because i want to show you uh, the admin and user features combinedly so i will uh, make some jugar here so you can see i just log in here and i just remove this okay i just remove it because i am currently logged in here this is in admin control not any user control so don't worry you, uh, uh, your users can not able to do like that okay i am just doing like that okay i just simply enter the second user details here and now i am successfully logged in as a second user here so this is a user and this is the admin okay so let me start because overview in the overview you can see here you can uh, select a particular user uh, from the drop down and select a particular month and the year and the, you can check the total presence absence of that particular month or year and everything in the history section you can also see the history in which date he is absent in which day is holiday and everything in the change password is also saying you can change the password i already explained in my previous video c38 v1 if you want to view if you want to know how these features will work you can watch them okay in the manage users again you can manage the users at the users you can also see here the one addition is here the device status the device is registered or not registered manage holidays you can also see here so you can see uh, this is the man uh, manage holidays you can add the holiday for let's take example i will add the fifth of the number is holiday and i will add the um, demo and click on this add holiday so when i click on this add holiday now the system will not mark will not uh, count that particular date any leave absent or absent because everyone is marked present for that particular date okay you understand this now we will uh, check about the manage loans so this is a user in my loans section so you can see here i have a one loan and if i uh, and my pay, my payment schedule is this so you can see this is my payment schedule is the pending and it's again the pending so this is a due date and this is the due date further okay so in the loan history you can also see here this is your loan history i uh, for let uh, let me show you how you can apply you can simply click on this apply a new loan enter amount i need a five thousand dollars select purpose medical emergency tenure 18 months okay so you can see monthly income 600 and existing loans if any uh, it will becomes here let's take example emergency contact you can add it here and click on this submit application so when you click on the submit application so loan application is successfully being submitted okay so in the pending application you will be able to see uh, let me uh, show you uh, it need a refresh system so you can see this is a pending application it will take three seconds to refresh the data from the google sheets so i can approve or reject so if i approved i just simply interest rate i select the interest rate click on this okay and the uh, enter distribute date you can also okay now okay now that's fine now the uh, loan of that particular applicant is approved successfully so you can see here loan is approved successfully in the all applicants you can see this is a user have the two employees and in the payment sections you can also 
also see here all the payments which he need to pay let's take example this is uh, this payment uh, payment schedule he need he is paid for it let's take example he want to pay this so admin what do admin click on this mark paid and enter amount how much is received it will a 1904 and click on this okay cash and transaction id if you want to add you can simply add and click on this okay so when you click on this okay payment is recorded successfully and these are the remaining payments because we have uh, previously we applied a new loan and that loan is for 18 months so that's why these are the other payments which he need to pay so right now they have successfully being paid two payments here but the remaining payments will need to pay them okay so this will uh, take the refresh if i refresh the web application so you can see here all the data again and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in go to the my loans in the payment schedule now you can able to see here all the loans here okay so you can see two are paid and remaining in the loan history you can see these are paid okay in the my deductions you can see this is the deductions which is made by the admin let's take example in the deduction sections add a new deduction select a particular employee select a late attendance how much amount is 700 dollars late day is the uh, salmon and the date I will add it here the four and notes I will add anything and click on this add deduction so when I click on this add deduction deduction is added out successfully and now that particular user and go to the my deduction sections and can easily able to see here the deductions in the my salary sections they can easily see their records and uh, in the salary section user we can add the salary we just simply click on this add and select here and which month like take example 11 and what is the year is 2025 how much amount is 15,000 and the paid date is 5 and the notes we will add it here and click on this save so when i click on this save right now you can see a salary recorded successfully and now that particular my salary record will be refreshed in three seconds and you can see here and if you really um, have uh, received your salary you can simply click on this confirm and click on this yes confirm so this will be the okay now the last feature is that requ request leave feature so if you want a leave so you can see here you can apply 12 days leaves okay in a year you can apply the 21 leaves so 9 leaves is already used and 12 is remaining and you can simply click on this request new leave available leaves you can take okay so you can simply select from here uh, to here okay you are requesting 4 days of leave and leave casual leave emergency contact if you want to add and simply click on the submit request so when you click on the submit request uh, your leave request is being submitted successfully and the admin will go to the leave request and you can see this is the leave request we have received we can simply approve or reject so when I click on this approve so that means that particular leave is being successfully uh, approved here and in the all request section we can see all the data in the leave balances we can see here uh, this is a user total allowed is 21 and 13 used and 8 is remaining so 62 percent is used here okay in the settings section we have not implemented yet but we will add it soon in our next video in the leave calendar section so you can see this is a leave from where are uh, your employees so this calendar will indicate you how on which date which employee is on leave okay so this is the thing and one more thing i want to show you in a request leave feature right now when i go to the request leave you can see it's approved already and eight leaves is available and if in that case that particular eight leaves is not available what you will do in that scenario you just simply click on this request leave section okay so uh, in the message section so, sorry in the message section so right now you can able to see here chat with kitchen community one and you can simply send them the messages for example you are going to sending them the message hi and the message will be send it to the admin okay so in the admin section the all the messages will come here like take example this is a kitchen community one chat is, okay uh, we already approved so what is the errors here we need to find this particular email id in our code.js yes in our code.js we need to find that particular email id admin email id and uh, again we need to find out this and change with our original email id and again we need to find out this and we can replace them actually so it will uh, replace them we just simply replace all the emails here and click on this save so when i click on this save and uh, refresh my web application now i guess it will be working fine so i just log in here and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in it will be sign in successfully in the messages section so it will be uh, in the messages sections right now it's not updated yet okay that's fine we just go to our code.index.html and uh, searching here so this is our open chat with we just replace them and we will search it again okay that's fine and click on this save so when i click on this save and uh, refresh my web application 
again so now it will be updated to our admin email so why we change the email because our admin email is that so this is the admin before that i tested and i will make this admin so that's why okay so in the messages section now the email is updated and i just you can see our all the chats is comes here and uh, i will request them hi i need the leave for seven days my leaves are completed what you want to write you can simply simply write them and click on this send so when you click on this send as of now you can see here in our uh, message section when i select here the kipson community one i i need the leave for seven days my leaves are completed okay so but in that case you can see here you will receive the message notifications here the one messages and what you will do and what you will do here you just go to your leave request and in the leave balances and click on this edit and the total allowed you can make it the 28 and click on this ok so when you click on this ok so it means that particular employee have the 28 leaves and now the 46 percent is utilized by that particular employee so hope you can uh, enjoy this and uh, i try my best uh, to explain you everything uh, but uh, hopefully and one day i will be explain you uh, like a pro english man right now i will confuse in my english to choosing the words so i hope you will uh, understand me i am new to english for wider uh, audience request i am trying to make my videos in english so this is a very major issue with me i will get a little confused with my english language so we if you want a more interesting video concept you have a idea and you want that i will implement them so you can simply uh, inbox me uh, you can simply ask me that idea or you can leave the comments so i will definitely read the comments and reply you and I, if i like your idea i will definitely make that video on them thank you very much take care